Why won't this leak just stop? Like, why won't it just go? Like, just die? Like, this leak, man. This Sonic Rift leak. Like, of all the leaks that I want more credibility to be given to, this is not the leak that I want more credibility to be given to. There's other leaks, like the Sonic Adventure 1 and 2 remake plus new game leak that sounded so good. I mean, there was development hell on that. But still, like, if, if that got more credibility, I would have been, been fine. But not Sonic Rift, please. So, if you've forgotten or you weren't subscribed to my channel back then, back in late 2019, there was a leak circulating called Sonic Rift, which they were claiming that this was the 30th anniversary game, and we were going to get Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, Shadow, Silver Playable, and a bunch of things, and Sonic and Shadow were going to boot, it was a whole thing, I made a full video on that, you can check that out. But this Sonic Rift leak just doesn't want to die, okay? Over a year later, this was 2019, we're now in 2021, and people are coming back with this Sonic Rift shit. And I'm pretty sure the guy who did the 2019 leak already said it was fake, that he made it up, but I don't... At first I thought maybe it's like, oh, they're just using the name of a previous leak to add some kind of credibility, and maybe it is that. Or the leak is real, and the guy who made the fake 2019 one just got lucky with the name. I don't know. But this guy claims he was a playtester for the game, and he's got some things he wants to say. We turn to Reddit for this information, and it sounds somewhat believable again, rumor so like don't say i told you it was real this is still grains of salt territory it's just it's the right amount of underwhelming that it sounds right right it's not too shit sounding and it's not too great sounding because in that middle ground it's like yeah i could see this uh, but i don't want it to be true but uh. so this dude mike erickson comes in and i'm assuming if he really is a leaker that that's not his real name but it says by the way i'm not a big sonic the hedgehog fan so i may not know what some things are i was only a playtester for the game. Game will come out in 2021 from what I've heard. It is called Sonic Rift. It has a portal ring mechanic where you can teleport by throwing the ring. I believe it is similar to the one seen in the Sonic the Hedgehog movie. You can also use the rings to perform different moves. So this could be some form of tie-in because we are getting a sequel to the Sonic the Hedgehog movie in April 2022 and they might say well if we take the ring teleport mechanic then when the movie comes out in April then they can reference that in like the cover art or something to get people who like the movie to buy the game. It also includes a boost mechanic where the more rings you get, the more you can boost through levels. So basically just like unleashed generations boost is based off your ring counter, right? I mean, he said he doesn't play all the games, so he's probably describing it as if it's the first time he's played boost on I don't know. Although the boost dries up very quick, so I barely had a chance to use it. Either he's just a player but he kept losing his rings, or maybe they don't give you that much boost per ring compared to say generations where like in gens, like you rarely ever run out of boost, like rarely. Unleashed, the same, you barely ran out of boost in that, but even in Unleashed, you start the level with no boost, whereas in Gens, you start the level with a full tank. A very slight difference. If you played Jungle Joyride on Unleashed Project, you'd kind of notice that when you start, if you try and boost, it just is a bit weird. Anyway, the levels have a text hard where characters can talk. It was only in the tutorial level, but I think they would add it into other levels. So is it kind of like what they mean in Forces, where you had like the little dialogue box in the corner? I mean, there's nothing really wrong with that, I guess. Game has an easy and hard mode. I I call bullshit. I mean, I'm not saying that he's lying. I mean, just forces kind of had that as well. It wasn't really a true hard mode. It was just like a slight difference with the rings. I've forgotten exactly what it was. Pretty much everyone just played on hard mode except maybe reviewers. I don't know. Right? It wasn't a true like hero super hard mode. Like we're gonna fuck you over kind of shit. It was just some basic shit. I don't know anything about the story. I'm only a playtester. But from what I know from the text hard, Sonic is traveling through other dimensions. I guess a rift, a rift through like dimensions, like time. I don't know. Like Sonic has a new shift ability I don't know what makes it new but it does it for you in specific game sections so like forces how the avatar drifts for you which I really fucking hated like one of my issues with forces was essentially this where in the footage it didn't look as horrible at times because you couldn't realize how automated certain things were until you actually tried to play it and it was like oh shit I'm not in control of that I'm not in control of that and it just feels even worse another new ability is the ground pound similar to Mario's ground pound. so what the stomp basically Basically, like this definitely sounds like someone who doesn't play a lot of Sonic. Nonetheless, I mean the stomp being back is not it's not a con or anything. It's a boost game, I'd expect that. Sonic also has the drop dash from Mania. I don't know why that would be useful if you're boosting all over the place. I guess if the boost gauge really 
is not as generous as it was in Unleashed and Gems. Maybe you drop dash? I don't know. Another new move is the slide, which Sonic uses to avoid objects. Yeah, this seems kind of half-baked when you read it just on its own, but because people on Reddit weren't just going to let him get away with this, they've been asking him questions to like further clarify and get more information, so he's been responding. So we're going to take a look at some of these questions to get a bit more insight on the game, because these people are obviously Sonic fans and they're asking the right kind of questions that people like you and I want to hear, like how much 2D is there, will classic Sonic be there, you know, things like that. So let's just scroll through some of these comments. Well, some of this sounds believable given the fact that Sega is playing it safe as once again the boost is back. I agree. And he says the return of the text card from Forces TSR is being used as a cheap, lazy way not to animate the cutscenes. I don't know if they're thinking, it must be confusing like that. You know those text cutscenes in Forces? He's probably thinking of that as opposed to the dialogue in the levels themselves. Compared to the other rumors leaks, this one sounds more believable given Sega's recent track record. And then he responds, you have been mistaken. I didn't see any cutscenes during my playthrough. I was talking about text HUDs during levels. So obviously just saying that the text in the levels doesn't replace actual cutscenes, you just didn't see them. Maybe they just gave him the levels to test. I mean, why would he be testing cutscenes, right? And someone else asked him, was it closer to an adventure style formula due to the reduction of boost being implemented? Or was it just still like a normal boost game? He says, I haven't really played much Sonic games. Only ones he's played is Sonic 1, CD 2, so the classic ones, SA2 Battle, 06 and Mania, which is probably why he was talking about this whole thing as if like, there's a new slide and a ground pad, like he hasn't played any boost tiles. So he's like, his glossary of like boost lore is pretty low. I don't know how I pulled off that sentence, but I suppose if I were to choose between the two, it would be boost. So yeah, an another boost title basically. Someone else asked, do you know anything about other playstyles characters in the game besides Sonic? Also, how open were the level pathways? Were they more like linear hallways or open spaces? a mixture of both. Lastly, if you do not mind me asking, what was the motive behind leaking this? Wouldn't Sega have made you sign an NDA? He mentions how he's played other games in the series before, but then he says, but I don't know much. So I don't know if they want to like prevent one person from being able to leak everything. So they'll give him Sonic levels to play. And then if there's others and they won't tell you, maybe they just want to focus on Sonic or maybe the other characters are there and he just didn't test them. I mean, they got time until the game's supposed to come out. Maybe they're sorting out Sonic's gameplay first before they even think about adding everyone else. Plus there's always is the option that he's just lying and this whole shit is fake. He says the levels were a mixture of both, to be honest, in terms of like the level pathways. He could be overstating this though. I mean, he hasn't played that many Sonic. His, his 3D knowledge is what, SA2 Battle? That shit was linear as fuck if we're talking the speed levels. I mean, 06 had some roots. He said the levels were a mixture of both, so I'm guessing it's probably gonna be more on the boost side with a few branching paths here and there. Sega did give me an NDA, but that was only for leaking any images, demo, or files of the game. I doubt Sega would just give you an NDA and say, you can talk about it, you can tell everyone the name and what it's about, but just don't leak anything. Like, that sounds a bit, mm, kind of sus. Maybe they thought if he goes and leaks it on 4chan or some shit, no one's gonna believe it. I mean, I know I didn't believe the first Sonic Riff leak, but then again, the Super Monkey Ball announcer from Deluxe basically confirmed the Super Monkey Ball quote unquote 3 is coming, even though he signed an NDA. So I don't know how Sega's NDAs are, but if it's like their games, that shit's probably not airtight, you know what I mean? Like, someone asked him, what was the art style like? Was it more cell shaded? Did it resemble any other game you've seen? And he says the light was very good and everything had a very grounded but simple texture. Also, the design of Sonic slightly changed. He still looks the same, but the only difference is that he has realistic fur on him. It looks similar to this image. And when you go to his Reddit page, he's posted the image and it looks like something that you've probably seen before, this furrier Sonic. I think it's official. I think that was the intended way the 06 Sonic was supposed to be or something like that. I don't know the full story behind that image, but nonetheless, it's a more furry Sonic. I guess to align it, it's similarly to the movie Sonic, which is furry. I, I guess that's what they're going for. Maybe to show that they got better hardware now that they can handle the fur. Because I remember like the Werehog fur and Unleashed, that shit was halving frame rates. Like that shit was taking frame rates, dividing them by two in this bitch. So maybe they're saying now that we got next gen, we can handle that shit. More questions here. Did it feel satisfying to play? Like, was it fun? How did the graphics look? He says the graphics look very good. It was also very fun to play and speed run. I mean, I don't know what he's going to say. Like his barometer, like he hasn't played any other boost game so the bar is not high for this dude assuming he's telling the truth like he hasn't played unleashed he hasn't played gens hasn't even played fucking colors or forces so like oh it's fun yeah boost is always fun the first time you get to dash like a maniac as nakamura said does that really make it bar raising i don't think someone asked what did the tutorial level look like was it green hill zone or was it something else he says it was a beach and you had to make your way to a snowy mountain by running on water which i don't believe was in any other sonic game before that I mean, we had beaches, we had snowy mountains, but there was also a jungle section and a carnival section.
section that was entirely 2D. Is this all in one level? And someone responds, wait, 2D? Oh, trust me, I feel your pain. Like the classic games or 2D as in like a 2D cartoon? Also, was it automation like forces? It was 2.5D and had modern Sonic's boost gameplay but in 2D. There was also a new wall jump move exclusive to 2 Okay, so it's just a wall jump, you know, just like Unleashed and Generations, nothing new. Is classic Sonic in the game? From what I've seen, no. We can rejoice at that. Could you fully control Sonic or was there fixed automation sections? Also, what about the non 2D sections? Could you fully explore them? Is there a new villain in this game? I could control Sonic 24 7 though. When he started running very fast, he got a bit hard to control. In the jungle section, there was a temple with multiple paths to explore. I also found out you could run on water to skip certain parts of the level. Okay, well, that's boost shit. Honestly, I don't know if I believe this whole innocent leaker act of tra la 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 la. I've never played a boost game. He's got this brand new stomp and this brand new slide, and he can run on water like wow. Like, I, I don't know. What characters were talking during the level? Was it Tails, Knuckles, and others? And he says the only characters that were talking were Sonic and Tails. About the level length, how much time did you take on average to complete a level? And he says about two minutes. Uh, around that generations kind of length. Uh. Do you know what consoles the game will be on? He says, I don't know, but I was playing the game on a PS4. And obviously PS5 is back as compatible, so it will run on PS5 naturally anyway. I mean, that's, that's expected. When did you play test the game? He said around early December. Someone asked, oh, wisps in the game and the guy goes who obviously he hasn't played colors and then he responds these creatures linking i guess wisps and he says i don't know and this guy responds okay so it seems like they're not going to be in the game <laughs> Let's not get our hopes up too quickly, okay? Let's, you know, it's too soon for that shit. So yeah, um, Sonic Rift. We've got a, a leaker here who either is very generously telling us what he experienced while testing this up and coming game, or is really just that pathetic that he would go to this insane length to essentially fool Sonic fans for what? Two, three, four months before we get the real reveal? I don't know. He's one or the other, right? Either way, as I said before, the, the leak sounds underwhelming enough, but not too underwhelming that it's unbelievable. It's like the right amount of underwhelming that it's like, yeah, I could see this happening. You know, Zuko completely ignoring all of our desires for an adventure remake and just giving us another boost title, more 2D sections and shit like that. Like adventure era, adventure gameplay, fuck that shit. Just based off the little information he's given, it sounds like it's going to be around forces levels of quality. But to this hypothetical game's credit, if it was to be fully original and focus way less on the 2D and have control that is way less less stiff and levels with a bit more challenge and maybe some playable characters that are not of the classic variety or the avatar and actual characters that we care about like Tails, Knuckles, Shadow, Silver, etc. Then this game has a good opportunity to at least be better than Forces, right? I mean, it's not really much of a bar to, to set, but like at least it's something. I don't think it's going to be hitting the, the boost goats unleashed in generations. It's, it's, it's going to stay in that like Forces era, like Colors era where it's like mostly 2D, the boost is in his OP, kind of that, you know that style, that style I'm talking about. And the team that bought you Sonic Colors and Sonic Forces kind of thing, so, yeah, man, I really hope this shit's fake. Like, give us adventure, <laughs> please, think of the children, think of, <laughs> think of the 90s borns, you didn't grow up with the classics, they need something. <laughs> Think of young Prem. You can't do this to him. I'm so, I'm so, I'm so, I'm so. Oh my god, please don't be real. Please don't be real. <laughs> Anyway, man, that brings us to the end of this video. This Sonic Rift leak just won't go away. If you're getting full in the next game and watch or so, then we can finally see what it is and put this to bed or embrace the upcoming game. But like, man, please don't be real. Please, Daddy Zook, please. Please, Izuka! Izuka! <laughs> Let me know what you guys think about this. Are you excited for this if it's true? Do you believe it? Do you not believe it? Well, yeah. <laughs> Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. Subscribe to the Nuts on the channel, link in the description. But that's all I have to say right now. So, Remy out. <laughs>